I've been going through some photographs of uh, Indians posing for a camera, and these are Southern Cheyenne Indians here. Uh, here's a gentleman sitting and wearing a robe around his waist like uh, the gentleman I'm doing. And uh, here's another guy with a pipe. And I'm thinking about putting a, um, I guess they call it a peace pipe, but I'm not sure if that's a correct term for it. But anyway, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure I'm going to. I'm going to make one and see what happens. It might be a good thing to do that, and then I can have a pipe bag hanging from his hand, which would uh, give that hand something to be doing. So that's what I'm thinking of doing today, and uh, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. All right, this is what I'm thinking is using a wooden dowel to make the stem of the, uh, or the, the full length of the uh, pipe and, uh, and get a smaller uh, wooden dowel to act as the uh, bowl. So I'm gonna cut into this wooden dowel with a exacto knife I'm going to do it twice because well I'll do it once and it breaks real even and uh, and I want to make the part that would go into his mouth First, I gotta sand that end of the uh, good guy. Yeah, that's good. hold this with this well no I think I'll hold it with a uh, pair of pliers because I don't want my fingers being cut Okay, I cut into it a little bit. That's why I wanted to have something holding the thing. Okay, I've got the uh, part that will go into his mouth worked out. Right there is where I'll put the uh, pipe bowl. 
Okay, I'm gonna start the hole for the stem so that my drill bit doesn't go flying all over the place. putting Elmer's glue on here. Can't seem to hit the hole. I gotta make a place for this pipe to come through. There we go. Looks pretty damn good. Even if I do say so myself. And I do. <laughs> now it's gonna take some sculpting around it, but that's what I do. I sculpt. eyebrow with my sculpting tool. Not a good thing. Okay, time to paint the, uh, the wood. To make it look like the clay.
it'll be shiny for a while, but then it'll dull down to look more like the clay. All right, I've just uh, decided to take it and put it here instead of back there, because quite honestly, uh, it's going to disappear there anyway. And the only way you're going to see it is if you're looking at the back of the sculpture. And I'd rather have it here, at least. Also, it would add cost to have the fringe hanging down below his robe, which it would. And so it's better to have it here. And uh, that takes care okay, of that problem. I got problem. the fringe run through. I just got to straighten it out. No matter how easy it seems to be, it ain't. <laughs> okay. There you go. What I did was I split the bottom of the bag so I can slip the clay into that area. The fringe, I mean. Getting into the wedges are fun part. Okay. Man, I got a couple more. I got to get in there. Hey, that's the look I wanted. Okay. All right, let's see how much of this is covered by him. I'll take this off. Oop, wrong. Drill. It's still, you can still see it. Like I said, I'm going to have to have him spaced back a little bit from this guy. Let's see. Set it that way. Yeah.
Yeah, it looks pretty good. I believe. Now, for many of you that uh, are seeing my videos for the first time, I had a sample of clay that I took to a local paint shop and I had them match the color of it. And then they gave me a indoor matte finish paint to match the color so that when I show a piece in the gallery there's no confusion as to what that material is that people are looking at. I'm going to be careful here because I want to destroy that texture that took me so long to put in. Now when it dries, it takes on the uh, look of the clay. It goes on shiny, but uh, becomes unshiny when it dries. <laughs> a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also don't forget I have instructional videos available now online the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos later everybody good night